In this video, we will learn all about line graphs. A line graph is one way to show a relationship between two different variables. In this case, you're showing the relationship between these two variables in the form of a graph that takes the shape of a line. And what's great about line graphs is that they allow you to visually see and help you to understand the relationship between your two variables. Now the two variables in your line graph have to be different. One is the independent variable and one will be the dependent variable. So you have to figure out which of your two variables depends on the other. Your independent variable will be on the x-axis and your dependent variable will be on the y-axis. Now when you're dealing with line graphs, your two variables must be quantitative. That means that they must be able to be represented by numbers as opposed to something else. There are types of variables which are qualitative, which could be like colors or shapes or something like that, but those can't be represented with line graphs. So for line graphs, your variables must be quantitative. And this is because you must be able to plot them as points and the points on a graph will be numbers. Now, you can have two different types of quantitative variables that will work with line graphs. You could have discrete variables or continuous variables. The difference between discrete and continuous variables is discrete variables only exist at certain values, whereas continuous variables exist everywhere between some range of values. So for example, a discrete variable would be something like the number of students in a class. Now this is discrete because you can only have whole numbers of students. You could have 21 students, 22 students, 23 students, but you couldn't have 22.3 students. So that variable only exists at specific values. When you're doing a line graph for a discrete variable, you'll actually just have points and you won't connect them with a line because your graph doesn't exist between those specific points. Now, a continuous variable would be something like your height because your height exists continuously. You don't go from being three feet to four feet instantaneously. You're everything in between as you're growing. So height would be a continuous variable. Same with time or temperature because it exists everywhere in between any two values. When you are making a line graph for a continuous variable, it will look like an actual line. You might plot some points and then connect those points with a line. So if we want to just look at a brief example of what those two different types of line graphs might look like, for a discrete variable line graph, you'll just have specific points. And it will look like you could connect them with a line, but you won't because in that case, the spaces in between the points don't really exist. So if this was something like the students in the class over time, we wouldn't want to connect those different points because we can't have half a student in between the having one student and two students and three students. Okay? Now, a continuous variable graph will look similar except you want to connect the points. So you'll have your points, and a lot of times you'll start by plotting the points, and then you have to decide are you going to connect them or are you not going to connect them? In order to make a line graph, you'll usually be given an equation that tells you the relationship between your two variables, x and y, or you might be given a table or some other description of how the relationship exists. And from that, your job is to plot some points and decide if they should be connected or not. 